So I just needed to meet him with here. I never expected him to just show up. Yo, dog. Um, wolf. I really thought it was a hood at first, but it is just an actual wolf's head. Oh, God. This guy is so guts. Ah, right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. Ooh, that's nice. Why, thank you, Mr. M Mr. Wolf. I hope you're not the big bad wolf. Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rhea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. Huh? He'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. Still getting my ass kicked by this guy. Wouldn't it just be funny if he flew off the side? How am I still having this much difficulty with this guy? Jesus Christ, I never knew that thing went that far. Oh, that is really big and heavy attack. There we go. Does he drop anything? Aspects of the Crucible Horns. Huh. So this was a good idea. I'm just gonna clear out the rats. Base control. Oh god, no, I am not dying to rats! Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if the rats got me or the dude with the crossbow. <laughs> I should have used that damn thing. Then I would have lived. Oh, that was just absolute. <laughs> it could have been rats. I'll let you be the judge. <laughs> oh, okay, so. Just need to think this little matter through, though. It's the best way. Yeah, that was it. I forgot to check that particular area. Yep. This was the place I needed to go to. A little sacrifice in health, but... Worth it. I hope. If I know where to go next. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nice. Now, I'm not sure if I can make that jump. No, I don't think I can make that jump. I'd rather not take that chance right now. And I do like to get what is over here. Yeah, but at least they refill every time you take a nap somewhere, so... Or you could get killed. So... It's not like they're being completely unfair. Here, you know, I mean, in Bloodborne, you actually have to farm your health items. So there is that. This guy in that front, if you're re if you're far too reckless, Bloodborne is way more more punishing on that front. I wouldn't be surprised if already plenty of people have said that for, uh, that Elden Ring feels even more lenient compared to most From Software games. But I really think that depends on how you just approach the game. I think it's just that... Oh god. That's a big rat. <laughs> I hate the big rats. Ow! I'm 
bringing out the spear. There we go. What could this rat possibly have a... A, <gasps> a rune arc, that's nice. Rune arcs are basically like humanities in Dark Souls. They're the thing that just helps you get stronger. But I'm pretty sure that's also what allows them to invade you. I see that little bugger there. Rancor call, that's new. Rather first just take the place. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going in the right direction here. That's good. Oh, this is a bit empty. I'm pretty sure I'm safe for the moment, so let's see what that was that I got. Oh, it's a sorcery. Rancor Call. Summons vengeful spirits to chase down foes. Sorcery of the Servants of Death. Oh, I've seen these things. Not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Some of them even go boom. I knew it. This is something I so need to get used to, the fact that you can jump in this game. Sometimes I still need to remind myself, like, Hey, hey, you wanna buy some jumps? Like, this guy, technically speaking, based on this functionality alone, the, the play, your player character, the Tarnished, in this game, in that way, is already leagues ahead of the Chosen Undead, the Accursed, the... The accursed undead, or the chosen in the undead in Dark Souls One, the accursed undead in Dark Souls Two, and even the unkindled champion of ash in Dark Souls Three, because you can do this. Not Sekiro, not Mr. Sekiro, because he could jump. He could jump quite the distance, in fact. <laughs> Oh god, not this thing again! I faced this thing before, it was a boss! I'm gonna see if this does anything. It does something, but not much. Ow! This thing is huge, as you can see. How this thing even worms around, I do not even understand. I fought this thing previously as a boss. It's a pain in the ass because it's just so big. Usually big enemies are good, but this one is a little too mobile for my taste. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna take a sip first. I like the spear, actually, in this case. Ow. Oh, you mother. Well, at least I know now where to be, so I can save myself the trouble with that. Yeah, I think... I'm not sure why this thing is here. It was a boss before in a secluded area in the starting dungeon. Okay, I need to immediately drink. <laughs> Poking would have been better. Okay, I'm drinking, because I'm not taking any chances here. Thanks for the encouragement, I think I do, but I'd rather not get too cocky. Okay, I think one more poke should be enough. Damn it! I'm not dying to this thing! Oh, two pokes. Nice! Back off, everybody. 
I'm the badass here. Oh yeah. You should have even seen me when I started out with the from saw and with the from software. It was never overconfidence, it was me being too hasty. I am so used to playing a lot of games where there's a need to kill a boss quickly. So I always try to kill them quickly. And that always ends up me getting killed. So I've learned to just, you know, take your time. And there it is. That's what I found before. What I've seen before here when I fell down. It's like a face. If you've uh, seen there when they showed the first, uh, um, yeah, like I said, if you've seen their first, um, uh, their first gameplay trailer, they did show this thing off. But I have no idea what this is supposed to be. By the sound of it, it feels like I'm walking in some mushy flesh, though. Still no comfort. Comfort can only be found in uh, Mommy's Embrace, who is back at the hub area. It is a face, that's for sure. It's definitely a face. There's two eyes here. I'm fairly certain this is a third one. Kind of creeps me out, though. With the tentacle thing, it kind of reminds me of... A sort of Cthulhu-esque thing. Which could be a possibility, con considering everything. This dude is... Yeah, the dude does seem to be dead. What killed this guy, though? Okay. Not sure. But okay. Now I want to know what it is when I got. Pretty sure it's probably a key item of some kind. It's certainly not in here. Huh. Don't tell me it's an actual, like, weapon? No, no talisman or anything like that. I didn't expect it to be a headpiece. Mm-hmm. Still nothing. Oh, so it is. Huh. So it's an actual talisman. Prince of Death's Pustule. A feather pustule taken from facial flesh raises vitality. Vitality governs resistance to the effects of death. Oh, yeah, probably. It is said that this pustule came from the visage of the Prince of Death. He who used to be called Godwin. That's some lore right there. That's some lore. The Prince of Death. He who used to be called Godwin. Godwin was Queen America's firstborn. Queen America is the first uh was the is the goddess. The supreme was like is like the supreme goddess. As first dead of the demigods, it said he's buried deep under the capital at the earth tree's roots. So is this his face? Didn't expect lovable sorts. <laughs> you, sir, deserve a raise for that message from me. <laughs> this dude is just sitting here. Yeah, there's always disturbing stuff going on in, in From Software games. But I don't mind it necessarily. They're not. The interesting thing is, is that, frankly enough, although it is disturbing. They never go for the full sort of horror that makes you think that you want, well, you want to kill it. But the fact is that usually even the horrors in these games have some kind of tragic backstory to them. Like, I kind of already said, I've said that before in Cherry's stream, one, uh, stated that as, it, as a as sort of mentioned that pretty much almost everything you face in a lot of From Software games, even the ones that almost seem as irredeemable as possible usually have quite the uh, tragedy tied to them level the playing field oh 
Oh god, that can't be good. That's not something I want to be standing in, that's for sure. Oh god! Oh! <laughs> well! Lesson learned. That was a lot of gold magic shoved up my, uh... My behind. <laughs> Don't tell me that makes these other guys respawn. How do I keep doing that? Oh god. I am not dying here. Not again. I am not a noob. I know how to play this game. I have played the previous Souls games. This is the guy I need to deal with. Okay, that's pretty hard. Bam, he's giving you. Now it's my turn, you prick. Okay. Now you're gone and done it. You hurt you hurt the horse. So you get the spear. He hurts my horse. He's a friendly horse. Ooh, nice. I'm getting some serious uh, Duke's Archives vibes with all these crystals around. The frame rate stuttered there for a moment. God, every time I look at this game, it just looks so beautiful. It may not be the most graphically impressive looking game, but what they did with it, they know how to just do it just right. So, for good measure, another one for the collection. Nice old screenshot. So. Found, I found myself in some ruins. That means investigation time. I see that dude over there. Don't think there's another dude in the area, so I should. Oh, it's got one Hello of those teleportation things. That's not what I was expecting to find. Oh god, what the hell? This is Nightmare 2. Oh god! I've never faced that before, so I wasn't exactly sure what it was gonna do. Let's see if I can put him to sleep. God, that is just nasty. So that's how you need to deal with this. Except when he does...
Okay, I think I know how to... Oh, I can't actually... Oh, that requires FP. Shit. Okay, that's... Jesus! He is not letting up, is he? Okay, I... This, this mana rating is all weird. Jesus Christ, what is up with this thing? There we go. I'm not sure if it's necessarily going to win any rewards in any graphics department, but it the atmosphere is so well done. But then again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. When you have Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R.R. R. Martin working together to make something, you know you're gonna get something crazy, twisted, and messed up, and at the same time, beautiful and breathtaking to look like. Now, I think the next thing that I should do is take a little trip through the Stargate, and let's see where it takes us. True. Well, two things to me. Atmosphere and styling. I think it's more important that developers make a game with a graphic style rather than going for ultimate graphic quality. I mean, there are, you can make a game as pretty as you want, but if it just doesn't feel like its own thing, I just don't feel. Like, that's it. Like, sure, from software games, of course, have a very realistic, semi-realistic look. But it does have an atmosphere that makes it what it is. You know when you're looking at something made by From Software. And I think that's more important than anything else. And it's the same with a graphical design. Go with the style rather than for absolute graphic fidelity. The, for me, for example, I can see the difference in a certain way. But to me, put Call of Duty and Battlefield together and to me, it kind of looks the same. Not saying that they are, but... I mean, it's, again, shooters aren't maybe the best comparisons to be making, but you kind of just know what you're, you just know what you're looking at, and it's something we're already familiar with. But for example, something much more in a contrast to that, which would be um, similar to if, uh, it's an FPS, but it does lean a lot more on, on RPG, which is, of course, Borderlands. That's its own thing. Meaning place map. Nice. You found a simple map. Check an in inventory. Really? A simple map found on a corpse seems to point to a meeting place. The man it came from surely desired, you know, surely desired one. The sole means of gaining entry into the academy. A glintstone key. Yep. And I don't have those. Yet. And I don't have one of those yet. You cannot proceed without a glintstone key. Then I better get to looking for one. But I'm gonna be going to sneak sneak again. Cause I'm about to enter into a whole lot of things. I mean, again, look at this. One thing also that they always nail to is the great design of, not complete, but sometimes the gothic-like architecture. Of the middle of the medieval times this is the one thing that somehow is the most ironic thing ever is that Japanese the Japanese know better how to portray our uh, something designed from our historical periods better than us Western develop than Western developers do and that's something quite impressive if you ask me 
Bring it on, bitches. These dudes. Oh no, not this again. Pricks. Boosh! These guys aren't the toughest, but... They can still whoop your ass if you give them a chance. If you give them an opening, anyway. Excuse me, sir. I see you're very busy. Oh, God. Yeah. That thing moves. What the hell? Oh, God. That is... Oh, that's what I need to do. This dude thinks his little go uh, medieval go kart is gonna save him. Fire blossom. Oh boy. Um, give me a sec. I just got a few messages. I want to check. Hmm. That a do? Oh, it is him. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Um. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, dude, but I think she's dead. Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. That's not helping They me much. laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. So, Sweaty, just out of curiosity, if you're still here, uh, have you actually played this game, or haven't had the chance yet? I'm assuming you probably have gotten to a pretty decent point, or unless you don't mind being spoiled, that is. Oh, these things are actually... Oh god. There's two of them. Oh god, I think I've seen what happens here. Oh well, they don't know my runes. Son of a bitch. That's not any merchants. It's patches. Been a while, friend. Oh well, it's been a long while. Mhm. Mm patches the untethered. So that's what he's called this time business, around. If you can believe it, now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. Sell. Speaking way, of, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? Huh? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? <laughs> the clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. I haven't. Oh, no. 
they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd tree. Or so I'm told. So it's... <laughs> I'm not so sure what you spoke of before. Yeah. Great story, isn't it? I'll tell you as many times as you like. There's a survivor. I <laughs> I'm not so sure if I should believe any word he says. Fang daggers? Oh, they're consumables. Grace mimic. Light shows the path, but without order. A fetish indicating. The guidance of grace, craftable item. Similar to grace, this fetish draws rays guiding the way, only without any sense of order. Useful as a last resort for those who have lost their way, or for use by those who believe that unrefined guidance will lead to truer encounters. Okay. I'll take that. He seals the parrying dagger. Sweet. And another S star. Okay, but that's about all I can buy from him. Cheers for that. But I think I'll leave it here for now. I think this is a good place to wrap things up. Sweaty, if you're here, still here, thank you for sticking around as far as far as long as you did. Hope you got to enjoy a little bit of the stream, and I hope to see you again later down the line. And uh, I bet you then a good evening and a good day. Bye bye.